The Eisenhower bots. How to use this popular time management method. Picture this. Your to-do list is out of control. You have no idea where to start. If you're anything like me, you want to get everything done at the same time so you can move on, right? But how do you know what comes first and what can wait? Hello, my name is Joy, and in this video, I will let you know how you can plan your schedule in order to have a more productive and less stressful life. And it's all thanks to a technique called the Eisenhower box. But before we get to this concept, let's take a little look into history. Before Dwight Eisenhower became the 34th president of the US, he was the Allied Forces Supreme Commander during World War II. As you can imagine, he faced all sorts of tough decisions every day. So he invented a principle, a box with four quadrants, to organize his duties by urgency and importance. And that's how the Eisenhower box, or the urgent important matrix, came to be. It was Stephen Covey, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, who made it popular years later. Got it. So how do these boxes work? Quadrant one, do first. On quadrant one, you can find the urgent and important tasks. They need to be finished right away because they are essential to your life or career. Like remember that time sensitive email from that very important client? It could also be a medical emergency or even that cake you forgot in the oven. Yeah, you should definitely check on that. Quadrant two, decide when. Quadrant two belongs to the important but not urgent duties. Here you'll find your goals and uh, everything you want to dedicate yourself to. Exercising or spending time with family is important, but you can choose how and when to do them. Hey, and remember that not being urgent doesn't make anything less important. Anything that is valuable to you in the long run will be placed right here. Quadrant three, delegate it. Back then, did I really need to do that? Yeah, everybody's been there before, thinking that something has to be done right away by you, when it actually doesn't, is quite a common mistake. Place these tasks, the ones you should delegate, on quadrant three. Things that only seem urgent are distracting and don't benefit you. For example, when you're working on a big project and the phone rings, should you answer it? Isn't the project what is truly important? You can let someone else handle the phone. All in all, double check and learn how to let other people deal with little things like those. Quadrant four, delete it. Honestly, you want to avoid quadrant four. It belongs to the tasks that waste your time. If you make this box smaller, you'll find more free time to invest in your quadrant two. Do you really think you need to watch that reality show for the third time this week? But wait. Quadrant four is still a part of your life and a healthy dose of it makes you regain your energy. This is the challenge. More time to quadrant two and just enough time to quadrant four. So let's put this into practice, shall we? To check if you're spending most of your time in the first two boxes, do a one week assessment. Here's how. Make six copies of a blank grid. Use one per day from Monday to Friday to list everything you did or accomplished and how much time you spent on them. The sixth grid will be your summary. Use it to combine the information from the other five and calculate how much time you spent in each grid. Now make them into percentages. How effectively did you spend your time? We live in an every second counts world. Then what's that? Your to-do list is packed and everything seems equally important and urgent. I know it isn't easy, but that hesitation makes you procrastinate. Without facing up to the hard questions, you're swallowed by quadrants three and four. So balance is key. That's where the Eisenhower box comes in, to help you organize your priorities. See something urgent, important, and that will have a large impact on your future? Set an entire half day to focus on it. Get rid of distractions, turn off your phone, close the door. Task complete? Check. And remember to keep an eye out for quadrant two. Even though quadrants one and three make you look and feel busy, it's quadrant two that brings you true success in the end. Bottom line is, live most of your life in the upper part of the matrix. Use quadrants three and four only when necessary. I know, I know, this all sounds like a great idea in theory, but where do you actually get started? Eisenhower.me makes this process a lot easier. This friendly website uses apps and strategies that will help you place your tasks in the right boxes. Then you'll be able to plan your schedule easily while keeping stress down and productivity up. 
best part is, you'll save a lot of time. Take a second to think about it, and it's scary how much time we all unconsciously waste every day. Time doesn't go back and can't be bought. Do you ever feel like time is weighing you down? Are you sure that you're spending your time on what really matters? Learning the principles of prioritizing and delegating will turn you into a much more dynamic and successful version of yourself. So don't you think Eisenhower Box deserves a try? For an additional helping hand, try checking out the full article. You can find the link in the description box. If you're looking for more inspiring videos, why not subscribe to our channel? And don't forget to share your experiences with us in the comments section below. Good luck with your own box, and thanks for watching. See you again soon.